Hi everyone, my name is Yao Rahman. I am a PhD scholar in Bridge Planning Planning Campus and I am working with Spurs Beria and SM Japruti. Thank you, IGPALI Mencom 2021 TCBG year for giving me opportunity to present my work in this conference. The topic of my presentation is performance analysis of mixed underwater and terrestrial OWC system over foggy weather. So first of all, what is this technology OWC? OWC is a technology that establishes the LOS link, that is line of sight links over license-free spectrum of wireless medium using optical carrier. This wireless channel can be affected by different channel impairments, such as fog, atmospheric turbulence, and pointing error. Pointing error means uh, misalignment between transmitter and receiver can affect a terrestrial OWC link and underwater OWC is affected by absorption scattering and turbulence. Communi communication link between terrestrial and underwater networks can help in better data offloading and exploration. So a decode and forward dual hop relay can be used to efficiently integrate terrestrial and underwater OWC system. The performance analysis on the ergodic rate and average SNR as well as outage probability of dual hope DF relay links are desirable for efficient deployment of mixed terrestrial OWC and underwater system. So we model the terrestrial OWC link over the sea or ocean with random fog and pointing error to provide a better estimate on the statistical performance of the mixed proposed system. To be the best of the author knowledge, there is no study available for the mixed system and that a statical effect of random fog and pointing error for the terrestrial link. So we consider log number distribution to model the ocean turbulence for the underwater link, which requires normal approach for performance analysis of the mixed system. It is well known that log normal distribution accurately model the ocean turbulence and its performance analysis is quite evolved as compared with the turbulence model approximately by mix by a mixture of uh, gamma distribution and the recently proposed mix, mixture EGC model. So we analyze the performance of the integrated TOWC UWOC system by deriving analytical expression of the outage probability average SNR and RO degree in terms of system parameters. We use the measurement data of the random fog and underwater channel parameters to demonstrate the performance of mixed link under the various foggy condition and characteristics of seawater. We will also validate our derived mathematical expression using numerical analysis and Monte Carlo simulations. So first of all, we have considered a first link, a terrestrial OWC link with pointing error over random foggy data. And the received signal can be given by equation number one, that is y1 is equal to H, HP R1S plus W1, where R1 is a detector responsibility and transmitted signal S and WG noise W1. And HF and HP are the random states of the foggy channel and pointing error, respectively. So the PDF of this combined channel, which include foggy condition with pointing error, the question number two, here we can see that this, uh, the PDF of this channel includes a gamma function with an incomplete gamma function with logarithmic argument. So it's very difficult um, to derive a close form expression. So next we have a PDF and CDF for the average um, SNR to provide average SNR accuracy and outage probability. So this is a PDF and CDF of SNR and we can see that our CDF has an exponential function, logarithmic function, and an incomplete gamma function with logarithmic argument. So next uh, link, that is underwater OWC link with ocean turbulence can be given by similarly H2R2S plus W. So H2, that is a channel impairment and the channel effect for underwater, we have model using log number distribution and the distribution is given by question number six, that is PDF of channel 
that is exponential function with logarithmic argument again. So, so first of all, we, we have to calculate the end-to-end -end SNR like uh, the PDF and CDF for again for second link. That is a SNR second link SNR. So it has an exponential function with lot of argument and the CDF for the second link has a complementary error function with Lagrange argument. So now for the performance analysis, we need to analyze end to end SNR of the DF relink, which can be given by question number nine, the minimum of gamma one and gamma two. The distribution function given by equation number 10 and 11, that the PDF and CDF for end-to-end -end SNR, which we will use to derive the other performance analysis like outage probability, average SNR, and argo degree. So first of all, outage probability. Outage probability is defined as a probability that the SNR is less than the required SNR threshold, that is gamma TH. The outage probability for the proposed system can be presented using question number 10 and using gamma is equal to gamma threshold. Like question number 10, here if we will put the gamma replace the gamma by gamma th, we can get the outage probability. Question number 12. So next performance analysis is ergodic capacity. So the ergodic capacity for IMDD, that is in, in city modulation direct detection can be given by question number 13, that is zero to a naught s by gamma naught log two, one plus e by two pi gamma f gamma d gamma. And we have a close form expression in 14, like uh, and the eta 1, 2, and 2, 1 can be given here. The I, proof of this uh, derived expression is given in the paper. Whole. Next, we have our average SNR. Similarly, the average SNR can be derived using zero. This expression that is 15, gamma bar is equal to 0 to a naught square gamma naught, gamma into f gamma d gamma. So here we have a closed form expression for average SNR again in the form of exponential function, some linear and error function. And here we have gamma one to n gamma bar two one. This is given like this. Here we can put all the values of A, B, and C, all the parameters that is foggy parameters, Z row that, that is pointing error parameters and the turbulence parameters, and we get the performance analysis, performance analysis. So for the simulation and uh, our validation of the derived expression, we have taken some experimental values of this channel parameters, foggy channel, pointing error parameters, and turbulence. So turbulence for the turbulence, we have the underwater turbulence channels. We have considered different type of seawater, clear ocean, and coastal seawater. Accordingly, we have used the value of C lambda, which is given in the literature. And the first performance that is the opposite probability. Here we have to compare with our result validated by the Monte Carlo simulation, which is exactly matching. And we can conclude from this graph that is the outage probability is higher than under the coastal sea water than the killer ocean at a moderate transmit power. So again, for ergodic rate, here we have compared with the two uh, terrestrial foggy condition that are light foggy weather and moderate for the weather. Here we have been, uh, increased the distance for link, uh, second link, and first link distance is fixed. And we can see the differences according to the distance as we are increasing, that is uh, quite obvious. So ergodic capacity is high over light foggy condition, achieving 20 bits per second per hertz of spectral efficiency for an underwater links distance of D2 is equal to 10 meter transmit power of 30 dBm. Similarly, we have average SNR. Here we have compared three uh, foggy condition light from address and thick. Here we fix the, sec the distances for first link and second link and the clear ocean. So the significant degradation in the performance of the mixed link over the thick fog compared with the light foggy condition. So we have concluded that we analyze the performance of a DF-based mixed terrestrial and underwater OWC system. We have considered random foggy channel with pointing error for terrestrial link and the log distribution, log normal distribution for the turbulence channel. 
for the underwater communication. We have derived an analytical expression of the outage probability averages in an ROT grade in terms of standard mathematical function. We have verified our results using Monte Carlo simulation averaged over 10 years per ocean channel DRIs. We can see that our derived analytical expression which is depicted as analysis have a good agreement with the Monte Carlo simulation, which is depicted as a simulation. Simulation and numerical analysis so that the relay assisted system provides better performance in light fog with clear ocean as compared to the moderate fog with coastal seawater. So these are my selected references, some selected references, and thank you. Thank you everyone.